Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential problem which is 5 to the power of x times 25 to the power of x, this is equal to 100. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. We have 5 to the power of x times 25 to the power of x, this is equal to 100. Now, we can express 25 as 5 to the power of 2. So we have 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2 raised to power x. This is equal to 100. So 5 to the power of 2 raised to power x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to power m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 100. 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2x. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 5 to the power of x plus 2x. This is equal to 100. So here we have 5 to the power of x plus 2x. This is 3x. This is equal to 100. The next step to solve for the value of x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So that now here we have rho 5 to the power of 3x. This is equal to rho 100. So you find that rock 5 to the power of 3x, this is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n rock a. Now, applying this power root property, rock 5 to the power of 3x becomes 3x rock 5. This is equal to rock 100. Let's divide both signs by rock 5. So that now, if we simplify here, rock 5 and rock 5 simplifies, so that you have 3x, this is equal to rock 100 divided by rock 5. The next step from here, we can express 100 as 25 multiplied by 4. Let's substitute 100 with 25 times 4. This becomes 3x. This is equal to rog. This is 25 times 4 divided by rog 5. Now, you find that rog 25 times 4. This is in the form of rog a times b. And this can be expressed as rog a plus rog b. Let's apply this property so that 3x is equal to, now we have rog 25 divided by rog 5, then plus rog 4 divided by rog 5. We can express 25 as 5 to the power of 2. So this implies we have 3x, this is equal to rog 5 to the power of 2 divided by rog 5 then plus here we have rog 4 divided by rog 5 now the next step here is to apply the power root property such that now we have 3x is equal to this is 2 rog 5 divided by rog 5 then plus rog 4 divided by rog 5. Let's simplify here, rog 5 and rog 5, so that 3x is equal to 
this is 2 plus this is rock 4 over rock 5. Now, again, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So therefore, we have 3x is equal to 2 plus rock 2 to the power of 2 divided by rock 5. Applying the power rule property here, we have 3x. This is equal to 2 plus 2 rog 2 divided by rog 5. Now, rog 2 divided by rog 5, this is in the form of rog A over rog B, which can be expressed as rog A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have 3x. This is equal to 2 plus 2. This is rog 2 to base 5. The next step from here is to divide both sides by 3. So that now, let's simplify 3 and 3. So that now, x is equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. This is row 2 to base 5. Now, since a third is common here, we can factor out a third so that we have a third into the parentheses. This is 2 plus 2 row 2 to base 5. This is the value of x from here. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So let's verify. Now, if you recall, we have that 5 to the power of x times 25 to the power of x, this should give us a value of 100. Now, this is 5 to the power of x times 25, which is 5 to the power of 2. That is 2x. This is equal to 100. So this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. So we have 5 to the power of x plus 2x. This is 3x. This should give us a value of 100. Let's substitute the value of x from here so that we have 5 to the power of 3 times x, which is 1 over 3 into the parentheses. This is 2 plus 2, rock 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 100. So here 3 and 3 simplifies so that we have 5 to the power of 2 plus 2, rock 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 100. So, 2 is a power here, so this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2, plus this is rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 100. Now, 5 to the power of 2 plus rock 2 square n to base 5, this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which you can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, we have 5 raised to the power of 2 times 5 raised to the power of rho, 2 to the power of 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 100. So 5 squared, this is 25, times 5 to the power of rho, 2 squared to base 5. This is in the form of a raised to the power of rho, b to base a, and this should give us a value of b. Now, this implies that 5 to the power of rho, 2 to the power of 2 to base 5, this should give us 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So here we have 25 times 4. This should give us a value of 100. Now, it's true that 25 times 4, this is equal to 100, which is equal to 100. And this implies that the rift add side is equal to the right add side.
and this implies that the value of x which is equal to 1 over 3 into the parentheses 2 plus 2 log 2 to base 5 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video